Alright, so boom. I am speechless. I am rattled. I am on edge. This was a video I, I never thought um I would be, you know, delivering at this point. But if you did not hear the news, Kobe Bryant, NBA legend, future Hall of Famer, five-time champion with the Los Angeles Lakers, has died um today in a airplane or helicopter crash. All I know is there was an aircraft and it caught flame, thus resulting in the crash and nobody survived. Confirmed is Kobe Bryant and there's four other individuals. I'm not sure if there was a pilot or Bryant was piloting, you know, the aircraft himself. I'm hearing reports one of his daughters was with him. Others are not confirming. I've heard Rick Fox was on the plane. I've heard his father was on the plane. I'm not sure who the other four individuals were, but I know Kobe was on that plane and I am rattled. I've never been into celebrity worship or anything like that, but if you were a late 80s baby, early 90s baby, or hell, 90s baby, period, you grew up if you watch sports, or hell, even if you didn't watch sports, you knew who Kobe Bryant was. In fact, growing up in the 90s, late 90s that is, or a matter of fact, I should say 2000s, there wasn't a kid who threw a balled up piece of paper or any kind of trash towards the garbage can and didn't say, Kobe, this did not happen. It's just like in football when somebody gets the pass caught over their head, you say most. When you're throwing trash towards trash pail, you say Kobe. This man had an impact on everybody's life. Even if you weren't a Kobe fan, you probably rattled right now because of what this man meant to the game, what he meant to American sports. This is just wild. And what's What's killing me is we didn't even get a chance to hear this man give his Hall of Fame speech, let alone have him sit there and watch the unveiling of, of his uh, his statue in front of, you know, uh, the Staples Center. We didn't see him actually get inducted into the Hall of Fame. He had a ton of stuff that he was planning to do. And more importantly, this all happening a day after LeBron James just passed him on the third, you know, uh, uh, for third all time on the scoring list. So he was already on our minds. And to have this happen, what? He just retired three years ago. Well, four, I guess two, three and a half now. This is craziness. I, 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 I don't know what to think. I'm not sure what to feel. Everybody is just completely on edge. And I was in the midst of recording the Pro Bowl skills, you know, competition a uh, uh, commentary. And then all of a sudden, bam, I get this alert. I'm like, what the hell just happened? And when it came from TMZ, it went from TMZ I didn't expect it to be legit because TMZ... You know, they, they don't always have confirmed stories that are not fictitious. We heard Bill Cosby died. We heard uh, Jackie Chan died. We heard uh, uh, somebody else had died. And numerous individuals in which none of them happened to be real. But this one was one of those situations where TMZ reported, and they were the only one who reported for about six minutes. And if uh, I kid you not, it felt as if everything stopped. Because everybody was waiting and anticipating. And then I was watching the Pro Bowl. You hear the report. Hey, we came to come, you know, deliver the news. It was once it got confirmed by Woj, that's when it became real. I got family calling me, crying over the phone. This is... Kobe Bryant is dead. This is, um... I'm not sure... Uh, uh... Wh what I'm supposed to feel right now, but, um... You know, life is short, man. People die every day, but this this came out of left field. You've seen a, a lot of prominent deaths over the course of you know the past couple of years, but if if there's anything that 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 you needed that make it feel real, if if you're somebody who's 25 or and in your 20s or early 30s and you grew up watching somebody that you idolize. And they're gone, just like this. This feels like when Chris Benoit died. This feels like when Eddie Guerrero died. This, this is, this is, this is wild. This feels like when Chester Bennington died. I don't know what I'm supposed to 
feel right now. I don't even know how I'm supposed to record later. I gotta go live for the Royal Rumble. This is gonna be tough, man. But Kobe Bryant, Kobe Bryant, one of the greatest players of all time, mimicked. You know, he he may have had the moves of of Michael Jordan, but nobody did it the way that he did it. One of the greatest of all time, undeniably, you know, a top five NBA player. His legacy will never, you know, be questioned. And all you can do is pay this man the respect. Hell of a basketball player, hell of a person. And uh, all I can do is extend, you know, my condolences to his wife because we know it was confirmed that she was not on the plane. I, I can only hope that his daughters uh, um, weren't on the plane. <sighs> Good Lord, he just had a he just had a daughter too, man. That's this crazy, man. This is this is ridiculous. I'll see you guys tonight um, for the Royal Rumble. But damn, man, Kobe Bryant dead at forty-one years old.